from this day onwards, you will only use how you feel about what you think to gauge whether or not it is true. You're not going to ask for anyone's opinion. Oh, well, how do I look today, honey? Fucking ugly. Oh, thank you. I disagree. Or not. Doesn't matter. But you get the point. You don't ask for permission to be who you are. You don't ask anyone what is true or what is not. First of all, because their true truth might not be your truth. And second of all, because people don't know what they're doing. They have no clarity. Now, if this was an enlightened civilization, then maybe it would make some sense, some form of sense, to occasionally ask, how do you view this experience? And that's why we come to meetings like this. It's because we wish to engage with more of ourselves and portions of ourselves that have explored perhaps a little bit more, that have become a little more clearer on the way the Creator sees things, and so we want to bounce off of those reflections. That is great. That's the only useful practice in terms of asking other people for their reflections. But don't just go around and ask sheep what they think about the lioness or the lion that you are. Because you don't care. You don't want to care what people think about who you are. As soon as you do, you're out of alignment. You feel bad. You feel like you're a victim. You don't understand why people don't love you. Why don't they just say nice things about you? Who cares? There's something wrong if a sheep says something nice about a lion. If someone that does not know who they are gives you a compliment, you should be concerned. Not delighted. Oh my God, you really think that? Oh. <sighs> now, if someone you want to end up like is giving you a compliment and it feels genuine, then maybe you have some inkling of a reason to resonate with that, to vibrate with that moment and say, yeah, let me absorb that energy for a second and make it my own. But if someone stands in front of you who you don't want to end up as, don't ask what they think, because it doesn't matter. The only way it makes sense for you to ask someone you don't want to end up like what they think about you, the way you think, the way you look, what are you doing? The only way that makes sense is if you use the exact opposite of what they're saying. So I don't want to end up as you. Bless your heart. And you give me, say that you agree with this particular point of view, then you should be concerned with that particular point of view. Does that make sense? And if that person is someone that you want to become more like in your own way, then let that reflection show you something. Not blindly take it on, obviously. It has to resonate to the fullness, to the core of your being. But then it makes slightly more sense to believe in what they're saying. So drop the idea that you can gauge how you are doing by what other people think and start only gauging how you're doing and whether what you think or not is true based on how you feel half a second after you've thought the thought. It's even less than half a second. It's quite instantaneous. It is after, but it's so instantaneous that you won't notice a gap. You are made to feel instantly bad when you have an erroneous thought. You're made to feel instantly amazing when you have an in-alignment way of seeing creation. So, no judgment, only ease. When you feel a little bad, don't go down the negative drain. Don't continue to perpetuate negative thoughts, negative thoughts, negative thoughts, unless you really want to continue to beat yourself over the head with a club, or a piano, or someone else's opinions, which is even heavier than a piano. <laughs>